The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. By tomorrow, I will rule the world! <laughs> you think he's gone? He's not gone! That's the whole point! He's never gone! Is this some radical new therapy? You see? <laughs> well, I must have not been paying attention. When you were just talking to me Do you think that you could repeat the question And I listen more attentively Well, we're back on. <laughs> there must have been something in all of that nothing That wasn't quite so easy to see And I must have missed something When you were just talking to me All right, let's start the show right away, yeah. shall we? Okay. Get knocked off by Facebook. Hi, how are you guys doing again? <laughs> Here at the Paying Attention Podcast again. Hi, it's up Two Guys Smoke Shop at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe again. again. <laughs> we, uh, we, got not, we got knocked off by Facebook. I suspect it was because I was talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, oh, maybe. And so I probably shouldn't have said the name that again. They're going to knock me off again. Such fascists, the people who run Facebook. I swear to God, they are. Um, we have a great that show. Us knocked off again. <laughs> we have a great show for you today. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, before we start, I want to thank all the <laughs> veterans out there um, who served their country. I know I already did this. So I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Uh, all the veterans out there who served their country, um, whether you went in battle or you didn't, whether you served stateside or you didn't, you were willing to put your life on the line for the country. I want to thank you for that. And also a big shout out to my friend Ronnie Marsan, who paid for every veteran's breakfast this morning at Country Kitchen in Methuen. Any veteran that came in, he paid for their breakfast, and the place was packed, so I know he spent a lot of money today. So thank you to Ronnie Marsan for that. He's not running for anything. He's not doing it because he's getting anything out of it. He's no longer an elected official, um, so we want to thank him for that. I also want to remind you to go to YouTube, go to Paying Attention, type in my name, Tom Duggan, um, and subscribe. We're having a lot of problems with Facebook, and so that's always our, it's a good default if you're on YouTube a lot. Um, to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified when we go live. Appreciate that. Um, I also want to apologize for last week's show. <laughs> I've had a number of people say they really liked it. I watched mm-hmm. it afterwards. I could not believe how off my game I was. I was just so exhausted from election day. I had had no sleep. You did great. Um, <clears throat> everybody else said it was a great show. I just kind of think it was one of my worst shows ever. Um, so I do want to apologize for that. Um, we've got a couple of great uh, guests today. And before I get to them really quick, I just want to talk about this whole Kyle Rittenhouse thing that everybody's watching on. I, quite frankly, I'm not sure why this is national news. People get shot every day. Um, but because, it, I guess, it involved the riots and all of that. Um, we watched the video. There's three people attacking this kid, and he shot them in self-defense. I don't understand what the politics are, whether you're liberal, conservative, libertarian, communist. I don't care what you are. Self-defense is self-defense, whether you like the, I don't care if you're a racist and you hate black people and the guy was black, it was still self-defense. So, like, I don't understand where politics comes into it. You watch Fox News, and they're all defending the kid, and then you watch MSNBC and CNN, and they're vilifying the kid. And it shouldn't be based on politics. It should be based on the situation of what's going on on the ground. Mm -hmm. And this kid, should he have been out there? No. Should he have been wearing a big gun? No. Should he have been by himself? No. 17 years old, should he have been in that environment without a parent? No. He shouldn't have been in that environment at all. But he was, and three people attacked him, and he shot in self-defense. And quite frankly, I'm a little shocked he didn't shoot more people. They were chasing him, yelling, kill him, get him, get, get him, kill him. And if that was me, I think I would have just kept shooting. I would have, I would have kept shooting until like they, there was nobody left or there were no bullets left. I mean, you're in the middle of a riot and people are yelling and they're chasing you and you, they're yelling, kill him, get him. And by the way, these are the people who are burning down police stations, burning down fire stations, burning down homes, assaulting police officers. Whatever your social, personal gripe is with the world or the government, violence is never the answer. It's never, unless you're defending yourself, it's never the answer. So I'm watching this video yesterday. I'm watching it live. And, and the prosecutor actually said to the kid, well, he rushed at you with a gun, but he hadn't shot you yet. When you shot him, he hadn't shot you yet. And he started thinking, wait a minute, I'm a gun, I'm a gun owner. I carry a gun. And mostly because for my job, because of what I right. do. But if I have to wait for someone to pull the trigger before I pull the trigger, when do I get to pull the trigger? Yeah. Because I'm dead at that point. Right. And so it makes those of us who believe in self-defense... And believe me, I'm not a gun nut. I couldn't tell you the difference between my gun and any other gun. 
the only thing I know about guns is my gun because I have to have one because I need to protect myself. Yeah. I couldn't tell you the difference between an AR-15 and an AR-14. I really couldn't. But everyone deserves the right of self-defense. It doesn't matter what your race is, your age is, your politics. I don't care if you're a left-wing lunatic communist. I don't care if you're a right-wing lunatic fascist. If your life is in jeopardy, you need, to, you need in any stable mature society, you need to be able to defend yourself. And so I'm not even sure why this kid's up on charges other than CNN and MSNBC and the politicians made it political. And I think the only reason why this kid's even being charged is because people made it political. And as far as I'm concerned, if I was on the jury, I heard everything I needed to hear yesterday. Right. The guy that charged at him with a gun admitted, yeah, I charged at him with my gun. Was your gun pointed at him? Yup. And then he shot you? Yup. I'm sorry, that's, that's case closed. Yeah. Like, why are we even here? And I was waiting for the judge to turn around and say, why are we even here? Mm. I'm, I'm hoping it gets dismissed. But what, what saddens me is, I think the most of it, because most of what I do is criticizing the media. And that's watching Fox and watching CNN, it's like two different Americas. You're getting two totally different stories. And I wish we just had one network. Forget Fox, forget CNN, MSNBC. I wish we just had one network that was just news. Just tell us what happened during the trial, and then don't tell us whether you think we should be thinking of him as guilty or not guilty. Right. Just tell us what happened. Let us decide for ourselves if we think he's guilty or not guilty. And, you know, you might disagree with me. Maybe you watched that and you saw something I didn't see, and you think the guy's totally guilty and he should go to jail. That's fine. As long as you came to that conclusion on your own and you didn't come to that conclusion because you were watching CNN, right? Right. And that's why I try to watch both. I wish there was a third option. I wish there was a third option that gave us just news. Um, anyways, I've got two great guests here in the studio. I've got Nathalia. Yes. Did I say it right? Is it Easy. Vasquez? Vasquez. Wow, I got it right. Two names in a row. Put that in your calendar. And Lisa, <laughs> and, and she is, and, and what's in the, it's N, it was an NM, what, give me the name of your, your business. Uh, it's KM. KM, Pizza I'm sorry. and Grill. It's and you know where it is, KM Pizza and Grill. It's in Lawrence. On South Broadway, right at the end of the bridge where TMF feeds the homeless on Wednesday nights. And so before we even start with uh, Lisa Williams from AFC Urgent Care and Natalia from KM, uh, thank you because Nancy told me last night that you've been donating pizzas for the homeless when we do our homework because we're right next door. And I appreciate that because the guy that was there before you, God rest his soul, he passed away. Yes. Before he got sick, he used to do that too. And even though there were problems sometimes, like sometimes the homeless people go in there to use the bathroom and there'd be an issue of something, um, they'd grab a coconut, pay for it or something. We always told them, look, if that happens, write it down. The next time I come in, I'll pay for the coke. If someone stole a pack of chips, let me know. And, and for you, the same thing. You. If you have a problem, you let us know and we will rectify the problem. You shouldn't have to... You're being good enough to donate pizzas. You're being good enough to reach out to the community. You shouldn't have to bear any kind of cost for that at all. So thank you for that. And we have Lisa Williams from AFC Urgent Care, whom I love to death. She's one of my favorite people in the world, uh, not only because she's so beautiful. And she is. Look at her. I mean, I know in this political environment, we're not so talk about looks. But Jesus Christ, look at look, just look at her. How would you not want to just hang out with her all the time? Yeah. Right. Thanks so for coming, awkward. kids. Good night. That's it. End of the show. So awkward. Let's call it over. Yeah. Um, so we want. I want to talk a little about COVID and other stuff. But before we do, Nathalia, why don't you talk a little bit about your business, about KM? Yes. So KM. Very since very spicy food, Dominican food, and it's really good. That's what I was it told. It is. It is. Um, we've had a good, um, you know, good support from the community. And just to rectify, it's not my business. I'm here to represent the owner. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> His name is Joao. <laughs> it's true. His name is Joao Herrera, and um, he's an entrepreneur um, from the Dominican Republic. He's been in the restaurant business for a little bit over t um, 12 years. And KM opened two months ago. And um, we're located at 8 South Broadway in Lawrence. And we, have, we do have a very um, broad menu um, of foods, including pizza, subs, um, food on the grill. Our primary focus is um, food on the grill to keep everybody healthy. Mm -hmm. But also we have um, fried food and not so much for those that preferred. Um, if I ate anything healthy, my, my body would collapse <laughs> if I ate anything because my body's not used to anything healthy at all. 
It's like, what is this foreign substance? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> well, you're going to love the, um, not that they're not healthy, but you're going to love the cam wings that, uh, okay. that are being delivered to you. Today. Great. Are you, you, you sending us food? We're sending you food. Oh, isn't that yeah. nice? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And I, don't know if you, I don't know if you saw in the front thing, but we, we put your, um, we put your, your, uh, your little thing up there. I don't know if you can zoom yes, in on that. I can see uh, that. So oh, yeah. We wanted to make sure we gave you a free plug because we know you help the homeless, and that's important awesome. to us here. So. Well, great. Thank you. Yes, we're yeah. there to support anybody in the community. Um, uh, the events that you guys have on Wednesdays for the homeless, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and I think having the kids um, go and support and volunteer, I think that's great. And by all means, if there is anything that we can do to support you and to help you on mm -hmm. Wednesdays or any days, let us know. Oh, well, that's great. I appreciate that. Now, what made what made you guys in this environment post COVID businesses going under left and right? What made you guys want to invest in doing a business, especially like in Lawrence? Tough environment for it's, a business to start. It's very tough, but um, we also understand that um, our community um, needs to be fed, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And with so many um, businesses going out of business during COVID, um, one of the um, I would say areas that are very successful are restaurants nowadays, aside from healthcare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because people are very, you know, things are going up, prices are going up. And um, it's been a vision that Joel has had in mind for a very long time. And he had the opportunity to do it now. And he's had all the support from the city and from, you know, his business partners um, to do it now. So it's it's been going well so far. Well, so that, it's a big challenge, and it was a big risk for him to take. And Very big risk. So far, things are going well, and we will, con you know, we hope that things continue to go the way they are right now. now do you guys have key pays? We will be very soon. Okay, I owe you those. Yeah, we, have, yeah, we will have key pays and pastelitos, the okay. little fried pastelitos. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we will. I'm at Polo Centro at least twice a week. Pollo Centro. Yeah, because I love, I love the key pays there. I love the. I mean, the chicken's good. But I go for the key pays, and I love the 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 sweet fried bananas. What do you call those? Those are the they're not they're actually not bananas. You mean the uh, sweet potatoes? Because they sell sweet potatoes. No, the the, the, fried. the, the sweet are potatoes fried? are good, but it's it's um they're they're sweet bananas. The sweet bananas, and they're and they're not like the the dry ones. Right. Those are good. Those are pan. Uh, Those are pl plantan plantanos. Right, they're pl um, plantanos, right? They're called tostones. 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 Okay. They're the yes. So, so those are the fried, dry plantains. Uh -huh. The um, the other ones you're referring to are the yellow ones. They're, yes. Um, they're called plátano maduros. Ah, see, I learned something new today. Plátanos maduros, and and by the and they're so good. And I like to have the really hot sauce that uh, Polo Central has, and I'll eat a uh, I'll put it on the kipe. And I'll eat it. And while that's still in my mouth, I'll take one of the bananas <laughs> and I'll eat one of those. And I've got to tell you, it's like heaven. For me, that's I like imagine. heaven. It it's like delicious. heaven. I love it. I love it so much. And now I've got another place to go. And now, and I know yes. where you are, too, because you're be right next close, door. we're going to be very close, especially yep. on Wednesdays. You can't right? miss us. <laughs> Absolutely. I, mean, I have a feeling I'm going to be serving a lot of key pieces of the homeless over the next couple yeah. of months. Yes. We also have picaderas. Um, they're big meat platters, and it has um, so there was two options. You can get the ones with five meat, mm -hmm. which includes the churrasco, the steak, fillet, um, ribs on the grill, um, pork chops on the grill, and chicken, okay. chicken breast on the grill, and the it is served with the fried. The stuff. picture of the steak that you sent me looked really good. Yeah, I'm, that's a churrasco. I'm a, Lisa loves it. Yes, really, it's really good. I'm a big steak fan. I love. I'm a meat and potatoes guy. And when I saw when you, I was actually on my way here when you guys texted me the <laughs> picture. And I almost drove off the road. I looked up at my phone and I saw this steak, and I went, "Oh, I want one of those." And I looked up, and I didn't know where I was because yeah. I'm driving. Yeah. Um, well, anytime you want to come by and um, you're going to be seeing a lot it. of me. Great, you, you'll be seeing a lot. I heard of you me. know how to make well, pizzas now. I <laughs> learn how to make pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I'm so excited to see that. She wants. She wants to go there. She just wants to watch you make a pizza. Want, maybe I'll make one. <laughs> and you know what? But. I make them while well, having these heels on. Get out. Shut you can ask Joel. <laughs> ask Joel. I am there. Make on to closing with my heels on. I will not take I them off. I love that. I'm running That's around like a headless chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you two be? Because this doesn't. This seems like a very odd combination to have you two guys together. So her, so she manages um, Methuen Pediatrics. Ah, right. that's right. You mentioned yeah. that, right? So the urgent care is downstairs. So, so yeah. you're doing Methuen Pediatrics. That's got to be a nightmare right now with COVID, the vaccines, and all this stuff. Yep. What is that like? Yeah, it's very busy. Yeah. Um, but we get it together. We see over 150 patients a day. A day. 
Wow. And yes. all kids, right? Because pediatrics. All children. Wow. Children. Um, so from newborns up until 18. Wow. Well, mm-hmm. first, we're going to have to get some Valley Patriots in your lobby so that those who are those who are coming there at least have yes. something to read while they're waiting. Yes. And they, I, I, Absolutely. I, I hope it's like AFC. There's not a, a long wait time. <laughs> <laughs> I go to AFC and I'm in and out in 10 minutes. Like literally, I've been there three times and all three times I'm in and out in 10 minutes. For children, it's a little bit longer. Well, that's true. You're and dealing we with We have kids. to make sure that we convince them to get their height and weight, right, right. to get their vitals. It takes about 15 minutes right. for us to get um, their know, vitals. I just, and I just do it a already. quick ad. So, <laughs> so, how, so I'm trying to wrap my head around this. How do you go from being a pediatric, taking care of, of having a pediatric clinic to serving amazing Dominican food? Well, Which, by the way, for those of you at home, if you've never tried Dominican food and you don't spend a lot of time in Lawrence, it's a good reason to go into Lawrence because there's a lot of great Dominican food right. places. Mm-hmm. And I, I used to go in just because I was in Lawrence all the time and I wanted something different. I was sick of McDonald's. And I started going in. I was like, oh, my God, what is this? And they were just so happy to have the business. They, the owners would come out and sit down with me and explain everything on the menu and bring out different things to let me try. And now I'm completely hooked. Completely hooked. Amazing yeah. food. Way better than Mexican food. Way better. Yes. I'm not a fan of Mexican food. Yeah, it's okay. But like every Mexican place you go, it's the exact same food. Mm-hmm. You can't find two restaurants, two Dominican restaurants in Lawrence. You can't find two of them that serve the exact same food. You can't. Yes, that's right. And KM is one of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that's why we're very excited to have <laughs> yeah. you here. So you guys met because you run AFC Urgent Care. She runs with doing pediatrics. Yep. And so you guys just started hanging out together? Just hanging out. Yeah. And drinking martinis whenever we could. Yeah, I need to be in on that. <laughs> I need to have an invite when that's going on. Maybe we'll all go to Salvatore's at some night and we'll have a couple of drinks. Maybe. Sure. That'd be fun. Bring your husband. I don't yeah. want anybody to think I'm hitting on you. Right. Although if you do have a sister, you know. I always said if I was going to get married, it would be, a two, it would, would be to a Dominican girl for, without question if I ever got married. With a Dominican girl? Yes, but see, this is why I'm not married. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> because, because they want nothing to do with me. They're like, yeah, with that Duggan guy, I want nothing to do with him. <laughs> Check, I'm please. I'm sure you'll find the right one. Uh, we'll see. We'll yeah, see. So at AFC Urgent Care, you must be going a little crazy now. Just be- a little. Because there's vaccines, then there's another vaccine, but one vaccine has to have a booster, but another one doesn't have to have a booster. Yeah. And they said, don't give it to kids because it'll <laughs> kill them. But now all of a sudden, you can give it to kids and it won't kill them. So you're in an environment where everything changes day to day. You don't know where you're standing from day to day. What is that like? Like, what is it like going to work every day and finding out that day, okay, everything's different now? Because I go crazy. Like, I'm a creature of habit. I don't like, I'm like Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory. I don't like anything new. So I don't want anything to change and I don't want anything new. And you're in an environment where every day it's new. Yep. So what we did is we have now, patients have to schedule appointments online because we can see, you know, 150 patients a day per location. Just pull this up a little closer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 150 patients per location. Excellent. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's insane. Is that just for the COVID or is that for anything? Anything. Okay. So if I, if I, if I have a stomach ache and I want to come into AFC yeah. now, I can't just drop in. I've got to check in. You sh- yeah. You I'll should. check in on my phone in the parking yeah, yeah. lot and then come in. Can I do what, that? What a lot of people do is they'll just text me. <laughs> <laughs> get me in today. Right, yeah. and, if, and if I can get them in, I'll get them in. But the providers can see maximum... 45 to six, 45 to 50 sick patients each. So if I have two providers in Methuen, they can see 100 total sick patients, and then we also have nurse visits. And you can see, we can see almost an unlimited amount of um, nurse visits. And so we do have like a rapid molecular, um, it's called a rapid RT P, uh, PCR, and that's for travel. So we can see a lot of those visits, but it's, it's, it's crazy. Have you had a pro- I would imagine because you're in the healthcare field, yep. people coming to you are sick and they have COVID, yep. which makes it more likely that the people who work for you are going to get COVID. Yep. Have you had a hard time keeping people at work because of being exposed to COVID? So we did have a couple of people that did uh, get COVID, but not many. Um, most of the staff, except for I think maybe one now is vaccinated, but... We've actually handled that pretty well. Well, it's good. But, that's you know, st- staffing, I say, is, is challenging because yeah. it's such a high burnout rate. When you're seeing 150 patients a day at the max, in between 100 and 100, it's just a lot. Right. And people are just – and keep in mind, when people generally walk in the door, they're pissed off. So the staff is dealing with a lot of people who are annoyed and pissed off and angry. Everybody's and angry today, they're everybody. They're so angry. And, you know, we had to do, like, some – some training with the staff to help 
diffuse pe- people when they walk in. Usually, I get a lot of those calls. <laughs> <laughs> But As opposed to you, because when people come to you, they're happy because they're going to come get great Dominican food, right? <laughs> right, right, right. That's right. It's so that's how we joined for us. Right, yeah. No. yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. That's right. So we try, we try to do the best we can. Um, we don't have the COVID. We do. We don't have the COVID shots in the clinic. But let's say if you're an employer group and you want us to bring, you know, the vaccines to you, we can actually do that. But so you can come on site. Like if yeah, someone owns a yeah. business, they get 20 employees. Mm-hmm. You'll come and you'll yeah. vaccinate yeah, their employees yeah, for them. Yeah. And now we're wow. running. And now we're running into, of course, the mandates and how do employee groups handle that, right? You know, do you mandate the vaccine for your employees or do you test them or whatever? I mean, I wouldn't, I don't want to, people need to do what's good for their, right. for their business. And it's also going to be hard because you don't want to share your opinions. Everyone, I, don't, everyone I has, do not want to share right, my ev- opinion. Ev- everyone has an opinion about mm-hmm. masks and vaccines and everything. And you're in a position where you can't, you can't really say anything publicly about what your opinions might or might not be because no matter what position you take, 50% of the people are on the other side. Right. Well, but also the, you know, the tests are, are, they're expensive. I don't want people to think that I'm encouraging them to do something that's going to be taxing on their business, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, the tests are paid for if it's exposure um, through insurance, but if an employer has to pay for them, they're, they're expensive. So. so what would it cost if a company has like 20 employees, say you got a company in North Andover, yeah. they've got 20 employees, and you're going to come in, they say we want you to come in and vaccinate our employees. That was free. That's, okay. that's free. So it doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost anything. So how do you get paid? Like, is it, this isn't coming out of your pocket. No, no, no. So um, we just run that through insurance. Oh, okay. So, and that's right. more kind of like community service work. I see. Yeah. I see. So I basically I pay the staff to come in and do So it. what you can do is you can go to KM and set up a little table. Yeah. And you can vaccinate everybody that comes in to get food. Yes. Right? We can do that. Yeah. We so, can absolutely arrange that. Sounds like a La- great idea. Last year, we had to maneuver some things with the drive up downstairs, um, getting our patient tested while Lisa was offering the, um, the rapids mm-hmm. for patients. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we can feed them and they can get vaccinated. Yeah, all, all at the same time. <laughs> There's so much we can do. So are you looking for help? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so always. somebody out there, I'm sure, is looking to actually work. There's, there's going to be at least one person watching the <laughs> <Right>. show <laughs> who actually wants to work. Yeah, we and always, always are looking for providers, you know, x ray techs, medical assistants. Call me. <laughs> medical assistants, x ray techs, Fix, um, medical receptionists. Do you, like a, do you need like a PR guy? You need somebody to like do it, fill the future? Sure, to do? Yeah. I'm available for that. Yeah. If you want, and how about you? Like, I know it's it's probably family owned, right? So, is it is it everyone in his family working there, or mm-hmm. are are you looking for help? No, we're looking for help. You are someone to make pizzas, yeah. right? Yeah, someone to make. Pizzas. <laughs> so you don't have to <laughs> wear your heels. Make them. Make them when good pizzas. He's actually he, he's trained on the staff. Yeah, I've never tried but Dominican yeah. pizza. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe we could make like a key pay pizza. Yeah. Right, let's do like a like a fusion of of pizza and some kind of Dominican food, like invent it and make it like give it a, your own catchy name and like it'll that'll be like a brand thing for you guys. We like keep a pizza or like the little the little plantano maduros. Oh, that will be so on good. a pizza. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Right, you look like you probably would like that, right? Yeah, yeah. He looks like a pizza guy, so that'd be fun. No. Absolutely. She's texting her friend, I hate being here. When can I leave? No. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, we, we can absolutely, we can make your own pizza. Like yesterday, for instance, we had uh, we had a customer that she re- had this well done requested pizza and it was really crispy and spicy for her. So we made it. So is it like the... F- Ris- is she, how do you do that? Crispy? No, but crispy and spicy. We use spicy sauce. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Uh, I love spicy. Well, I'm it, a small talking person. about spicy, your delivery just arrived. Oh, so it we, did. We, we, we um. Oh, nice. We um, we placed an order about 15 minutes ago. So just oh, so that's so get, nice you of you. I, I appreciate that. That's awesome. And I mean, I can't, I can't eat it on the air. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Why not? I guess, right? Um, this is your show. You do so, whatever you want, Tom. So, 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 Lisa, <laughs> you've uh, what's that? What's up? Do you want him to bring no, you? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll eat them after because oh. otherwise I'm just going to end up like eating and chewing people hear me the... chewing while I'm, on the, yeah. while I'm on the show. But I'll eat them as soon as we're done. So, um, so you've probably lost a lot of people through COVID, right? As far as oh, workers. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I remember going in one day and it was like a whole different staff than it was a week earlier. <laughs> and then about I'm three months, about three months later, I watched it and said, "Where's Victoria?" And they're like, "Well, she's not here anymore. I'm like, she was just here a week ago." <laughs> so, what is the turnover rate? It's got to be tough for you, especially know, in the medical field. I know. I'd say since January, we've been able to retain a lot. You know, it's been a lot better. So it's getting better, you think? Yeah. 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 For you. So we did change our hours to eight to six mm -hmm. because when you're seeing that many patients um, in a day, it's hard to ask people to work 12, 14 hour mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you're not leaving at, you know, when you, when the hours were eight to eight, you're not leaving at eight o'clock. You're leaving at like, you know, nine and then you're asking people to come back in at seven thirty. you know the next day so right. your your day is really you know yeah, it's 14 gotta, it's gotta it's be tough a, it's a long day and yeah. what is the pay like if someone wanted to come and work for you as like a medical assistant it all depends on experience okay it you know we but we do pay well and we bonus them right. depending on like patient count for the day so we it's it's very competitive at least you get food deliveries food deliveries <laughs> right. yep yeah. we have food deliveries right. for, for and i do as you can see frequently bring in lattes and Whatever it takes yeah. <laughs> food makes, food makes <laughs> to make to make a fun day. <laughs> Just like they say that food does make um, people happy. Music is medicine, so mm -hmm. it's food. Yeah, yeah, I agree. When I am hungry, and when let's say when I take my lunch at three o, I don't get to eat throughout the day. I need a Snickers bar. My mood starts changing, <laughs> and I need food. So food is medicine. You. It makes people happy. Yep. So uh, definitely. Now, do you guys deliver? Yes, we deliver. You do deliver. We are on DoorDash. Do you deliver to North Andover? Yes, we do. Oh, we deliver to oh, North Andover. Well, there goes my paycheck for the Door week. DoorDash, Uber Andover. Eats. I had to ban it for my kids. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a big fan of DoorDash or, or Uber Eats. I've had negative experiences the few times I've used them. But I would make an exception to get key pays to deliver to the office. You know I, I literally pay know. people to go to Polo Center when I'm stuck in the office to get me key pays, and now I don't have to. No, you, pay, you, you made a special request, so I owe you those. But you don't even have to go through the door. You can just call the um, the restaurant directly and place an order, and we'll bring it to your door. Really? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Like, I don't care about the rest of you guys as long as I'm getting my needs taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> what are the kind of foods do you offer? I'm, I'm looking at the, the picture of the steak here, and it's just making me drool. Um, so we have for steak. Um, Would you go to the pork website? Chops, pork oh, chops, sure. Pork chops websites. on the grill. Um, ribs on the grill. Um, fried fish. We have everything. We have everything. Fish. We have our famous KM wings, uh, which is a combination of spicy and sweet sauce. Uh, we have the juca frita. And what is that? Um, oh, they're my favorite. Yeah, I don't know how to say it in English. Okay. Uh, it's yuca frita. Yuca. So oh, the yuca. Okay. The yuca, yeah. Yep. So it's over a seat. It's almost like a potato. But yes. Yeah. So we have that fried. We have the fried plantains. We have the mozzarella sticks for the kids. We have the chicken tenders. Um, we have the churrasco, which is the steak, alongside with the um, something called, it's called pica pollo, which is a fried chicken. But it's made with this uh, very special Dominican um, seasoning and... Um, and it's patterned with, um, um, it's patterned with, with carbs. With carbs. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm looking for you here, but I can't find you. I can't find your web. What's your website? It's KM Pizza okay. and Grill. If you search us on Google, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the first restaurant that comes up. I did, but it came up with something totally different. Lost maybe I just typed it in wrong. But, oh, there you go. Boy, we should be showing this on the screen. Yeah. You'd, be million, right? you'd be millionaires by the end of the day. Yeah. Look at all this food. That's the biggest burger I've ever seen in my life. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, it really yeah. does. I'm a big burger guy. I'm a big meat guy anyway. And it's a giant yeah, we have of, lots of giant, giant. You should try the burger. meat platter. It comes with five different yeah. meats. and It's really good. That's fantastic. So now... No, uh, you guys work together? We're just friends. Okay, so that's it. You're just friends. Like yeah. you're not, you, don't, you guys don't work together no. at all, you know, between no. AFC and, and no. doing pediatrics. I don't ever and, see her. No. <laughs> We're in the same building. Yeah. What is, you got some new things that you're offering at AFC? Um, the rapid PCR. Okay. And that is for travel, and it's, like, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a rapid PCR for travel. You get the results back in 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> someone almost... Killed me in North Andover because we didn't have it one day. So I ended up putting more tests in Methuen. Um, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, it will be, you know, 
we'll be very busy with that. So let's say I But believe- the only thing is it's not covered under insurance. Let me just say that again. Unfortunately, insurance does not cover this test, and it, they are expensive. Now, which test is this? It's a rapid PCR. Most PCRs, you have it, it goes to a lab, and the results are back in a couple of days. This is this is back in thirty minutes. And what does PCR stand for? Oh God! If I you forget. know, if you don't, remember, I forget. Perlmutter molecular. Oh, okay, all right. So it's not like something yeah, easy to remember. A, yeah, it's the, the PCR. <laughs> so now I have. It's I, the combination of the. I have never gotten the vaccine. No. And it, and, 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 you, I have and, you, and so you, I'm going to tell you, should be getting the vaccine because you have comorbidities and you're over the age of fifty. Yeah, I'm definitely in a high I, risk group. I've never yeah. had it. Yeah. So let's say I come in tomorrow and I get it. How long is it good for? You just get it once and I'm good, or am I going to have to keep coming back? Well. It's controversial, and I. She's looking at me like I told you not to ask this question. I told you. I told you. I did not want to talk about this, and you brought it up anyway. But now, but now I'm curious because I may end up getting the vaccine. Like I, I have decided so far not to, and I have nothing against those who who have decided to take it. I think it's an individual choice for everybody, and I don't judge people either way. But at some point, I may. So you. And if I do, even if you're vaccinated, you could get COVID. I mean, all, all the. The vaccine really does is prevent from death and dying in mm-hmm. hospitalization. And do we have stats on that that show that like people who get it, who who people who get COVID that have been vaccinated, get less sick than those who yes. don't? Yes, they're, they're, of course. They're I mean, that's the reason why these. they got the you know the FDA. Well, see, you know, I don't trust the FDA and I don't trust CNN, but you, I trust. That's why I'm asking you. I'm I'm, I'm telling you, like I would. I'm not a physician, so I shouldn't be. Giving that's this okay, advice. but like you, you're not but giving I, but advice. You, you're just but, telling us what I you're would, experienced. I, for you, I would get it. You would say it again. Yeah, yeah. Because right. I am giving it some thought. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I've been I, completely closed off the idea. Yeah. But just at the beginning, I wanted to, you know, it's ex- it's experimental. This has never been done before. There's no so they've given case out, They've given out enough vaccines to enough people now right. that there's enough data that right. someone in your condition. I think now, most people should get the vaccine. Yeah. I'm just so very. Why haven't you I'm just very hesitant myself. I mean, seriously, like I'll pick you up to tomorrow and take you to CVS. Yeah, it won't to be tomorrow. But <laughs> how about the night? How about, how about Monday? I still need a little bit of time to think about it. Oh we'll, we'll God! Chat about, we'll like, chat what do you need? Monday. We'll, we'll chat. We'll chat about Monday. But uh, but I'm, but again, I'm open to the idea. But look, I wanted to see like the first like year how many people were going to have problems because like everything else, there's a negative. There's a negative reaction to aspirin, right? There's a negative consequence to anything that we take. Flu vaccine. So what, okay, so what anything. did your doctor say? Well, I've changed doctors multiple times. I had to fire all of my doctors. Oh, my God. He's such a piece of work. Well, no, because look. Seriously. I, I woke up one day. I couldn't walk. Like, literally couldn't even get to the bathroom, right? And so I go to my doctors. I go to my specialists. And they're giving me all kinds of, you have to have a hip replacement. You have to have this. You have to have that. But couldn't tell me the underlying reason as to why. So... They're sending me for treatment. They're giving me all these things, all these special. Uh, uh, I was on Remicade for a while, which was great, and you know, like people at home care. But the, the long and the short of it is, uh, it, I wasn't I wasn't getting the treatment that I wanted to get. Like they weren't giving me any answers. Don't all they in. all they there wanted all they wanted to do was do surgery, <laughs> and to me, surgery should be like the last thing you try. It Absolutely. should be physical therapy first and other stuff. So I fired all of my doctors. I got a brand new doctor, Doctor Logan, and I love her to death. Um, I got a new specialist, but I had to get rid of him, and so now I'm looking for a new specialist. And so while all this transition is going on, I don't want to be getting a vaccine where I don't have a stable doctor and specialist that I can go to if something goes wrong. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of like where I am right now. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have thought about taking the vaccine who haven't taken it yet and haven't completely made up their mind. You know, we're constantly being pressured by, by the government, by the president, by the media. We're being pressured by our local politicians, and I don't like pressure. So I want to make my own mind up, and, and there's a lot of people out there, and so I'm not discouraging people from getting it. If those of you who don't want to get it, that's your choice, and those of you who get it, that's your choice too. But I think it really should be an individual thing. I think Abs- it should be. An individual I choice. agree with you 100. Oh my God, am I saying that I agree with you? Yeah, that did happen. Wait, we, did I really say? Oh, we've got God. it on tape. We've got it on oh, tape. God, this will be the yeah. first. I right? do agree. Right. She saw the front page of my paper and she went, oh, you're not talking about that today, are you? <laughs> I don't think we should. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm oh, God. And, and, I, and I was going to. No, I was going please to. don't talk about controversial right? things but while we, I'm here. I, I've, I learned that because the last time she was here, I talked about something controversial and I could see her climbing under the desk. <laughs> and I'm like, where are you going? She's like, I want no part of this discussion oh, one way or oh, the other. God. So, so when did you guys open over at Cam? 
two months ago. So you you've been open two months. I've been driving by you every day and didn't even notice I it. No, look at that. That's they even crazy. have orange soda. Really? I love orange soda. No kidding. Yeah, it's my favorite. Oh. How about like cream soda? That's what I like. Oh. We don't have cream soda, cream but we soda. will have natural juices very soon. Oh, natural good. juices? Oh, good. Like You mean healthy stuff? Which sooner or later I have to eat something healthy, right? Just Do to you keep eat my greens? We have, Anything we have, green? we have no, options no. for that. Spinach. We have healthy options. Like what? Like salads. Oh. Really? Okay. Do you eat a salad? So let me ask you this. How is salad healthy? I could never figure this out. People, especially like women that I know, they all eat salad, they think it's healthy. What is healthy about a salad? Well, it's the vegetable, right? And you get protein. Leafy greens. Spinach so salad's it's very... Not, you're, you're keeping your carb levels very low. Okay. So it helps with your sugar intake. All right. And um, you're, you're feeding your body greens, which is good. For digestion. So greens are good. Absolutely. All right. I mean, I love spinach, but I think it's the only thing that I like to eat. Phenomenal. Yeah. It helps you with your immune system. Now, if you want a really great meal, I was at Salvatore's last night, just as an aside, and I ordered the veal masala. And it comes with the masala sauce with mushrooms, and it's on top of spra- fresh spinach. Yeah. And I, I, as soon as I tasted it with the spinach, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I'm not really like a healthy eating kind of person at all, but I really like that. I so see. shout yeah, out to Salvatore's. Good. So. Sounds good. Anyway, do you have uh, spinach pies? We don't have spinach no, pies. No, not yet? Not yet. No. no. So every suggestion I make, she's going to write it down and then hopefully... I, 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 you special, got it. Absolutely. A lot you. of times customers come in and they ask for like something you know, that we don't have it on the menu and we'll make it for them. So it's a la carte Fantastic. services that Fantastic. you don't get everywhere. So Lisa, do you, was there anything in particular when I invited you to come in, I figured you'd have like a whole lot to talk wanted, about. No, no. Just, just like being with me. I, I, just, I just wanted to bring my friend on. Oh, you wanted to bring on your friend. Yeah, okay. So right. make sure she was okay. Sounds good. No, she, she seems to be doing well. And Nancy <laughs> speaks very highly of you, so you've got to be a nice person. Oh. Because Nancy's like the, <laughs> Mama G's like the nicest person on the planet that I've She's ever met so in my sweet. life. So if she likes you, I know you're probably going to be pretty good. Right? <laughs> I'm so excited for the grand opening on Saturday. So, yeah, yeah talk about that. We want yeah. people to come because yeah. I'm, believe it or not, I'm going to leave my office yeah. and I'm going to go to the grand opening. Yeah. I will be there. It's we take pictures? It. Wait a minute. Can you take pictures? Sure. We'll take pictures. We'll put them in the paper. Yeah. Awesome. No cost. It'll just be free for you because you help the homeless. Great. Right? Thank we'll you. come. We'll take pictures. We'll do like a grand opening, really ribbon cutting kind of thing. And we'll put it in the next edition. Awesome. So the grand opening, it's this Saturday, um, November 13th. Um, Starts at three o'clock, so we ask people to arrive on time. Mm-hmm. Um, we're hoping to at have three o'clock at three p.m. from okay. three to eight. Yeah, right. so we're I'll be just getting up around then, so I'm good. We're we're gonna make it very family really? friendly. We'll have a DJ. Oh, we'll have catering for um for the public, and we just want everybody to come in and see what KM it's all about. So are you guys gonna be selling gift certificates? We will have gift certificates, which is perfect for holidays. Mm-hmm. You know, you can buy your significant other a. Especially since you deliver, kids. I think that that would go over well. Yes. Because a lot of places just don't deliver anymore. I'm on Main Street in North Andover, and I used to call Domino's, and they'd come from Andover because there wasn't one in North Andover. And then one day I called, and I was actually calling Lawrence, and they were like, well, where are you? You've never been there. I'm like, I call you guys every week. What are you talking about? They're like, well, the end of it doesn't cover your area. Now we do. And then six months later, I called them, and they said, yes, sorry, we're not servicing North Andover anymore. It's very hard to get a delivery in North Andover unless yes. you're going through one of these DoorDash mm-hmm. type things, which just gouges the business and gouges the... The customer. Yeah. Because by the time the food gets there, it's cold and you're not hungry anymore right. because you're upset. Plus, it's strangers that are not connected to the food place you're ordering from. Like, you've got, you've got uh, this gentleman here. What's his name? Give his you a free is, plug. This is the CEO. This is Joel. Uh, so what's the name? Joel. Joel. It's the owner. So you've got... Jo- oh, this is Joel, the owner. Why aren't you up here? I didn't know that. Look you should have come up with because us. So, <laughs> so <laughs> sure. he's sitting there and he's making fun of us. Right. Yeah. So you got the owner is doing your deliveries, right? He's doing a very special delivery. Right. So, um, a few days ago, um, he, we had a delivery and he, the delivery arrived and I got a text. I can't believe I just got my delivery. The food is yummy and I got it delivered on a Corvette. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so it's it's very special deliveries. Um, and very, um, you know, we try to expand and um, provide great service to um, to the community. And I see on your website something that always excites me okay. because I hate people. I don't like to talk to people. I don't like talking on the phone. Oh my 
God. That's and, all I have to say. So, so I do I, not agree with <laughs> most of the things he says. <laughs> but like, I don't. I'm on the phone all day because I run a newspaper, so my phone rings all day. Yes. So I don't like talking on the phone. I, I kind of, um, I, I can connect with yeah, you. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm looking at your website and I see order online, and that very much excites me. Yeah. I will go to a place that has substandard food if I can order <laughs> online yeah. versus having to call someone and talk to them and give my. And no, it's nine. No, the expiration date's twelve oh seven. It's like. It, it, you can repeat everything, and they're busy, and you can the phones ringing in the background. It's so much easier to just go online, plug everything in, and you save the information. And the next time I go in, I don't have to re-put in my, my credit card. Like, that's the part that excites me. So the fact that you've got this online, huge, I think. Yeah, and then on top of that, Wait, okay, I say you one get thing. on our mailing list. And oh, you yeah. Get, yeah. You, you get weekly updates about the things that you can order or new items that were added to the menu, specials. It sounds like so you guys are going to be adding a lot of things going to hear from us. You. You're going to say something and we cut you off. Yes. So, all right. But how come in the medical field, I get like messages, I don't want to register online, Lisa. <laughs> Why do I have to register online? <laughs> but they can go to KM. KM. <laughs> go to KM. Wait, wait, so wait, so let, let me get this straight. <laughs> so people want to re- go online to and register food. their pizzas, right? right? right. And they're what, but in terms of like, but this is... We have four look Swam Scott, Beverly, North Andover, and Methuen. But when it comes to the Methuen location, if somebody has to register online, I'm going to get messaged on Facebook mm-hmm. Messenger. But there's, there's, I, I, I but there's, a, I, there's a reason for that, though. Okay. You may not realize what the I, reason I, is, I, but I, I'll tell I, you what it is. I, I know there's a, there's a lot of different reasons. I that. don't want my medical information going over the internet. I just don't. And so anytime I've had to deal with any kind of medical situation where they say, well, just go online and register and put, I don't want, I don't want, and I, I'm, I'm sure I'm speaking for a lot of people, I don't want my medical information there's online. No, but there's no medical. can steal it. But there's no medical information there. It's name, date, address. I mean, it's just like, it's kind of like basic information. So when you walk in the door, like the staff just... When it does, it's it's basically to reserve your spot. It's to help with like, you know efficiency, but it's but there's people no offense, just don't want to do it. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> say there's two hundred other locations that are kind of okay with it. So if they're registering online with you, they don't have to put any medical information. That's a good thing to, to, to yeah. Like, there's to no point me- out. There's, there's no medical information. That's a good thing to point out. And when they you're telling you just people. kind of it's like a la carte. Do you want a COVID test? Are you here for a physical? Do you want workers' comp? Are you? It's just more to prepare the right. staff. You know, it's it's a lot easier to it's steal so, pizza. It's, it's just so much easier, you know. But people are all right with like, I'll have chicken fingers, you know, I'll have a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. Yes. Italian sauce. We're out of time. We're sauce. out of time. So I want to give you a chance to one more chance to to plug your business, plug KM, and tell people about Saturday again and how they can call or where they can find you online. Actually, I think I might even have that here. I did have it here. It's uh, KM Pizza and Grill. That's right. And spell out the word and. Don't use the ampersand. Uh, .com. KMPizzaAndGrill.com. Um, if you look in that description below, there's a link already in there for Oh, everybody. great. Excellent. Excellent. And your grand opening is? Saturday, November 13th at 3 p.m. And, and I will actually be there. And so. we're located at 8 South Broadway in right. Lawrence. And for those of you who may not know where that is, as soon, if you're coming from North Lawrence, as soon as you go over the bridge... As soon as you finish going over the bridge, you look mm-hmm. to the left, you see like an empty lot and then a little plaza, and you're Correct. in that little plaza. We're in that little plaza. Where the hookah shop is. Where the hookah shop is. Yeah, and I hate to promote, oh, I hate to promote them. I hate to promote them, but at least... Hey, we have to. That's, right? that's, that, that's, a lot. that's the landmark. <laughs> that's what people see when they drive by. That's and of course, right. AFC Urgent Care, you're open when? What, what are your hours? Eight to six. Every day? Every day, Monday through Friday. And Saturdays and Sundays, not open? Eight to six. Eight to six, excellent. So yeah. you're open yeah. seven days a week, eight to yeah. six. Yep. And so if someone needs a COVID test, if someone needs uh, a vaccine, yes, no? Vax, if you guys want vaccines, just call me and okay. we'll bring them to you. All right. So you, you can't go there and get a vaccine, but if you call, they'll bring you a vaccine. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. I know a lot of people would, would really appreciate that. And you're located in, in North Andover? North Andover, Methuen, Swamp, Scott, and Beverly. And Beverly. All right. Actually, you can roll that up. Chrissy, I appreciate your patience with us today. It's all right. Next time, we're going to get Joel up here. He's not, qu- he's not quite the looker that Natalia is, but we'll get him up here next time <laughs> and get him to talk about some of the new foods that you're offering. Maybe like in a couple of weeks, would you be up up for that? Maybe in a couple of weeks, come by. I just want to thank you for not being 
it's overly controversial. No, I, I, I want to thank you for the invitation. It oh, was no. a pleasure being here, and we hope to see you guys. And um, you know, any of the audience that it, that are listening to this podcast um, to come over yep. um, on Saturday. And this will rerun again tonight at six. Yep. And then for the next uh, four or five days, it's going to rerun again. Awesome. Great. Usually, usually like once during the afternoon and once at night so Perfect. people can see it. Great. And if you missed the show, you can always go to the Valley Patriot uh, Facebook page and you can watch it after we go off. Also, go to YouTube and like our channel yes. on YouTube. We're having a lot of Facebook problems. And you know, it's only going to be a matter of time before they knock me off again. Why? Uh, while we're live, there's a little bell. Click the bell so you'll get notified when we go live. That's another Facebook change they screwed up there on you us. Go. And uh, I got to thank our sponsors here as Melvin Taylor wraps it up. McLennan Real Estate, Century 21 on, on uh, Broadway in Methuen. AFC Urgent Care in Methuen in North Andover. Marsan and Son Construction. We love Marsan and Son. Ronnie Marsan, who paid for all of the veterans' breakfast today at Country Kitchen in Methuen. God bless them for doing that. EIS Investigation and Gun Training. Borelli's Deli, where, by the way, you can get the, the hottest sausages around that are, mm-hmm. that are tasteable anyway. Um, some great macaroni salad. They've also got some great uh, butternut squash ravioli. I got some last uh, week. Did you really? I it did. is so good. I eat it yep. without sauce. That's how good it is. I eat it without the sauce. Uh, what are a Tomo and Happy Crab, which we will be there this weekend. Clear Path for Veterans, New England, uh, Pleasant Valley of Landscaping, and the Greater Lawrence Technical School. We appreciate all of our sponsors, all of our uh, advertisers in the Valley Patriot. The Valley Patriot is on the streets. Big controversial story this week. Make sure you pick it up. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, everybody, for, um, and especially Dave and Joel and Natalia and Lisa uh, for being here. And I'll see you guys, yeah. I guess, maybe next week. We want to do another show next week? I feel like we should. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one, one of right. these next week, too. Cool. Mel Sounds like Melvin Taylor says you got to go home. So go home already. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.